for a new video here. This video is going to be <coughs> about Chuck Norris, the new face of Glock. Well, once again, the liberals have something else they want to lose their mind about. Chuck Norris defending our Second Amendment and being paid to do so. I mean, I couldn't think of a better person to be sponsored by Glock than Chuck Norris. I mean, when you think of a good guy with a gun defending himself, his family, and his country, the first thing you really think about, if you think of characters, not just a good guy, would be good old Texas Ranger himself, Chuck Norris. I mean, this guy's, you know, been martial artist for years and stuff, but still, even martial artists, they need their you know, equalizer sometime, and by that we're speaking of a gun. Yeah, I know, it, he, it, as in the Texas Ranger, he was playing a TV character, but I mean, you get what I'm saying. He is pretty much the face of a good guy going against a bad guy with a gun. I mean, uh, there, there's nothing that you can really hate about you, you, Chuck Norris, he's 79 years old, never really had too much out there of any scandals or anything, but of course the liberals will always have problems with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read off a few tweets people have had about Chuck Norris being sponsored by Glock. Someone said, this is Air Fresh 2019, said it. Chuck shouldn't be working with gun companies at a time like this. He should be advocating ways to keep his gun-loving friends from possibly becoming surprising random mental health people that use guns to kill others and children. Please tell Chuck that you do something like that for the kids at least and aren't all about the money. Um, I mean... It's been shown time and time again. Most of the time, the legal gun owners aren't the mental health people that need a little, you know, mental help. Sometimes there have been people, but most of the time you find out that background checks weren't done right, that stuff was overlooked, and these people had no business having a gun in the first place. So whether or not you're trying to say, well, you should have a gun or you shouldn't have one, you can't sit there and group everybody together as legal gun owner and illegal gun owner. Because half the time the legal gun owners, they're going to be doing what they're supposed to to get those guns. But you have those few that if they don't steal the guns or buy them off the street, they somehow fall between the cracks. That's not the gun owner's problem. That's the gun salesman's problem. They need to check more into the background. But at the same time, it's not always their problem. Sometimes the, the FBI, they're not putting them into the system when they should be put into the system right. All right, but then we have another, per, uh, another post from um, Air Fresh 2019 talking to Chuck Norris would you stand in the way of students like the Parkland students seeking gun control measures well on this comes back to my video I posted yesterday about you, you know the rifles or whatever like the AK-47 or the AR-15 you, you know it's a higher capacity gun it's a bigger gun the Glock, it's a handgun, and you're not doing too many massive shootings with that. So, yeah, all these gun control freaks, they need to learn a little bit more about the guns. I mean, I'm, I'm not the smartest person. I mean, I'm just getting more into the whole gun thing myself. But, I mean, at least learn your laws a little bit more, and the capacity of some of these guns hold compared to a handgun so and then 
there was one person is Mr. Magic Fan. He put two Air Fresh 2019. It's not like gun control works. Laugh my ass off. Or LMAO. So sorry about that for the people that don't like cussing. And then Air Fresh said, It's not like you find, you find out if we never try. Well, I mean, I think you can kind of find it out. Look around. Australia. They've had gun control for a couple of years. England. I don't know how long they've had, you know, guns where you can't own them. You know, unless you jump through certain hoops or, but even the police there don't have them on their body. You have to be like SWAT team to have them. And look how much stuff happens there. You've got cars running over people, people stabbing people. And at the same time, people are finding guns to shoot people with. And then this is what I like where Magic 831 said, it's not a gun control issue, it's a mental health issue. I agree on that. I mean, the gun itself isn't killing anybody. You know, we've all heard that old saying. You, you know, um, guns don't kill people, people do, and it's true. I mean, but at the same time, people can go out here, run you over with a car, stab you, do whatever. I mean, if they're you know, really want to, they kill you with a fork. I mean, if it really got down to it, people are crazy. I mean, so, sit there and whine all you want about gun control, but there's plenty of ways to kill people. People make homemade pipe bombs. Remember the Boston Marathon? Oh, they did a pressure cooker bomb. You're never going to be completely safe, but I would rather know that there's a few good guys out there with a gun than some crazy bad guys with guns and nobody else has a gun but them. So yeah, it's a mental health issue. And I mean, you shouldn't take the you know legal rights away from any citizen that you know mentally is capable of having a gun and at the same time has never had any other run-ins with the law of violence. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And then, so we got Alpha Gray. This is what I was saying. He says, so you would honestly prefer that only criminals have access to firearms? Or would you rather see good citizens be able to stop mass shootings? And that's exactly what I was saying. If a good guy don't have a gun, but the bad guy does, we're all screwed at that point. And then I also wanted to talk about this part. For the people that are that are all gun control and stuff, I want to ask you, have you ever been in a situation where there was a bad guy with a gun? Because if you haven't, maybe that's why you feel that way. I myself, a couple of years ago, was working at a convenience store. I've been working there a couple of years, never had a problem before. And all of a sudden, one night, a guy comes in with a gun, mask on, gloves on. Yeah, you know what he's there for, he wants there to buy gas. So, he's got a gun at me. Gives me get the money out the register for him. He wants cigarettes, you know, takes cartons of cigarettes. This whole time where he wants me to do this, I've got a gun this close to my head. Yeah. So if you've never been in that situation, you'll never know how it feels to be the good guy that doesn't have a gun but you got the bad guy with the gun. So that's, when that happened, that's when I finally decided to purchase my first gun. Since then, I bought another one. And at the same time, because I will never be in that situation again if I can help it to where I'm gonna be a victim of a gun crime without at least trying to defend myself. And yeah, I know what all y'all are going to say. 
Well, it could have turned out worse if you had a gun. It could have. But just think how bad it could have been either way if I did or if I didn't have a gun. It could have turned out a lot worse. I did what the guy wanted. I gave him what he wanted. But you don't know how helpless you feel in a such situation where you could have had a gun, but you didn't have a gun. And all you can do is do what they want and hope they don't kill you. So just think about that for a little bit. Uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Peace.